We run Glockon and look for connected devices. From My Devices tree, we click on the plug icon to open the discovery methods and activate the ones we want to start from. Locally connected devices, via USB for example, are automatically detected and listed in My Devices, and we can start controlling them with a simple click. They will appear on our global view. Let's now activate the Ethernet discovery and see which are the ones listed there. Please be aware that discovery protocols usually send broadcast messages, meaning they are received from any Ethernet adapter, no matter what is their current IP address. In other words, if a device appears in discovery with an IP address currently not reachable from any of the Ethernet adapters Globcon can use, we will not be able to control it. From the list, we can add the desired devices, add all or remove the ones we are not interested on. Once the selection is completed, click on OK to proceed. Software controllers are then created and, once finished, we can see all of them in our global view. If, for some reason, the Ethernet-based device is not showing up in the discovery, for example, if that is connected on a different subnet and discovery is not getting through, we have the possibility to add them using the two steps procedure. We first add the virtual device, selecting that from the virtual tree, then we right-click on it from the global view and select Make it real. Manually enter its IP address and then click on Pull if we want to start from the current device status. A click on the globe icon opens a window with two lists, devices and controllers. With a double-click on the name, we can edit it. With a click on the Edit button, we can change the IP address. Controllers are the software instances of the Globcom plugins which control the devices. We can kill them one by one with a click on the relevant button, in case we are not interested to control them any longer in the current Globcom session. Let's add a generic web view to control, for example, our Ethernet switch in Globcon. With the right-click and Make it real, entering the IP address or an URL, we are ready to open it, eventually typing the login credentials. Let's now program and add a device which is not directly connected via USB to our Mac or PC, but via a Globcon bridge daemon running natively inside of the Prodigy series or on a Raspberry Pi. Clicking on the bridge settings icon from the discovery, we can check which are the devices available and decide the ones we want to take the control. Once added, we can activate the bridge discovery and wait for those showing up under My Devices. With a further click on their icon, their controller is created and they are listed in our global view. Once all the desired devices are on the global view, we can save some desktop space hiding the selection tree. In a separate tutorial, we will learn how to control devices connected via MIDI and Donut. Powerful. Easy. Globcon.